addicts, it's Alex. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a fall get ready with me video and it is also a story time video. I, this is probably gonna be like my longest get ready with me video because I'm just catching you guys up on everything that's going on in my life. Um, I know I've been MIA, I disappear from time to time. You think I'm back and then I disappear again all because of my health. Um, so if you guys want to hear about, you know, what's been going on, why I've been so in and out, what's going on in my life, this new background will be explained in all of that. Um, uh, just keep watching and then I will be using a lot of fall products as you can see, like kind of like a gold scheme going on, a brown lip, got my plaid on. So I'm super excited for fall. So I was like, I gotta make this get ready with me video a fall edition. Um, so this video is jam packed for you guys. I've missed you, I love you guys. Um, don't think I don't love YouTube or you guys, I do. If I disappear, it's not because I wanted to. Um, but yeah, so I love you guys. Also, I do want to do a Q&A soon just because I feel like I've been gone. I want to know if you guys have any questions um, about anything going on in my life. So make sure that you comment down below in the comments what your question is, and then I will um, show it in my next Q&A video. I, haven't, I think I've only done one Q&A video, and I think it was over a year ago. Um, so I do want to do another Q&A video for you guys. And whenever you ask a question, I'll make sure to insert your questions into the video. So leave them down in the comments. All right, if you guys want to get ready with me, then just keep on watching. All right, we shall get started. This is my first video that I am filming in my parents' home, and we're gonna get into that. I feel I'm putting this get ready video up before other videos that I filmed in the past, so my hair's gonna look like this, and it's gonna be blonde again, and it's gonna go back, and then eventually it's just gonna be the same hair, but I wanted to get this video up first because it is for fall. I'm really excited for fall. It's my first video in this, um, I was gonna say apartment, but in this home, in this house with my parents, and um, I have stuff to catch you guys up on. I, oh my gosh! But let me let me take a sip of this coffee because I'm tired. Like, let me just get started. I'll keep just keep talking. Like, I, I literally, if I don't have coffee, I am a zombie. Like, all I can do is lay in this bed, watch Netflix, sleep, watch Netflix, sleep, watch Netflix, sleep. Like if I don't have coffee because that's like the only way I derive any energy because of everything that's been going on in my life. Um, but <laughs> it has been crazy. Okay, so let's get started. So I have this like hairband. I got this at H&M in Hong Kong whenever I visited my family. That was like, I think the last time I visited Hong Kong. If you guys don't know, um, here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk so much. This is why this video is gonna be so long, um, which who cares? Um, we're gonna start. Yeah, let me put some, oh no, setting spray. I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. Let's spray that all over my face. And then we're gonna put concealer on my eyelid and my brow bone as usual with the Elf HD Lifting Concealer. Um, but yeah, my parents, they lived in Hong Kong for five years and they moved back to the US on July 1st, 2017, like literally on the first. And um, I'm gonna be using SL Miss Glam Beauty Brushes and Sigma Brushes. So this is the SL Miss Glam Taper Foundation W13 brush. And, um, but yeah, they moved back July 1st. And I came and visited, I think a week, the week, the weekend later. And um, then once I got back, I had my health, like, like I had problems all of the time. Like every day I feel sick, always in pain. But the week I got back, I literally couldn't eat. Like, it wasn't like, oh, I just had pain when I was eating. I, like, could not eat. And, like, I was having all of these issues. And then I, after a week of being in so much pain, not being able to eat, and I'm sure losing more weight, I, like, went back. I went to the ER and I was like, I don't feel good. And, like, told them what was going on. And, um, so then they, um you know, we're doing tests and whatnot, and I fell asleep, and I woke up, and they're like, we're moving you to um, an inpatient room, and I didn't really understand what was going on, no one even told me what was going on, but I was just being whisked away, and I'm like, you know, because I'm thinking, I'm going to the ER, I'm probably going to go to work in a couple of hours, so at that point, it's like two o'clock in the morning, I'm like, I'm going to go to work in a couple of hours, and they're like, oh no, there's something wrong with your gallbladder, and I'm like, I really was expecting them just to send me right back home, so it's like, okay, finally, they figured out what the problem was, because I've had multiple surgeries, but there's, like, this one more, there's this GI problem that needs to be fixed, and I'm like, this is it, this is going to fix it, and, um, I don't even know how I got started on this, but anyway, so I got the surgery, it didn't fix it, or at least it fixed part of it, but it didn't, it didn't really make much of a difference for me personally, um, 
so my health, you know, I was trying to come in recovering from the surgery still. And as I was covering, I wasn't getting any better. And then like a couple days after the surgery, I went back into the, the hospital and they ran more tests and they said, oh, you have this problem. Try these medications. And then the me medications didn't work. Now we're going to go in with this e.l.f. palette, the Golden Gollet Goddess eyeshadow palette. I love this palette. Um, so much and we are gonna go in with the lid increase color in the crease um, And we'll just start there and I'm gonna be using the SL Miss Glam fluffy deluxe w22 brush and This forever 21 mirror that I got a couple of years ago um, So I'm gonna start with a more golden lid shade um, but yeah, they ran more tests and they tried like trying these medications and the medications didn't work. And I talked to my doctor, told him what was going on. And he looked at one of my tests and was like, well, hey, you know, looking at this test, uh, it looks like your colon's not functioning properly. <laughs> so my old, both my old GI doctor and my new GI doctor looked at the results and they said, your colon's not functioning properly. You'll probably need to get colon surgery to remove parts of your colon. So, um, and then, you know, I'm back at work and I'm like, you know, waiting to see the doctor. I'm going to go in with the crease shade now. I'm just going to kind of wipe some of this off on my hand and then just, we're going to double dip kind of. Um, and then just go right on top of it. I kind of want to do both shades. Just mixing them together. Because why not? But yeah, and I was at back at work and like being at work was just so hard. Like I was so tired, so exhausted. I was in so much pain. Like I wasn't feeling good, especially because my job at Forever 21, I was on my feet 40 hours a week, you know, trying to work. Um, and, you know, it's hard to get breaks in that type of job. Like, if I have an office job, I can sit and eat when I need to, wa like, get water, whatever. It's a little bit more easy, um, easier to deal with. But with that type of job where you're on the floor the entire time, it really makes it difficult to um, deal with the problem that I had, like, even more so than someone who um, was, like, in an office job. So, um yeah, so it was it was not fun. And then do I want to do the deep crease? Yeah, I'm gonna do the deep crease. So we're gonna go in with the SLMS Glam Fluffy Crease W18 brush, and I'm just gonna go on the deep in the deeper part of my crease with the line shade. It's the darkest shade on the bottom, um, just to define the crease. The other parts were just kind of like blow out the crease, but this brush is like tapered, so it's perfect. Um, and this, all the brushes that I'll be using from SLMS Glam Beauty are from the White Brush Book, which you can order, you can ask for her to not include the book if you are vegan or don't want to buy something that's made of leather. So, yeah, it was just really, really difficult to deal with. And, I, like, every, and like, some days were worse than others, especially because I wasn't sure, like, when I was going to have, like, an attack, you know, from the food. Like, some, I have episodes, I call them. Um, where they're really bad and it was just getting hard and I just you know I was dad, like I can't get through another day I can't get through another day and I would push myself through another day and like um, It just got hard and eventually, you know, we were thinking like oh, yeah Like you should come home, but let's just see if you like wait a little bit longer to see if your medications kick in like You know when we'll try to kind of work out the details in the meantime We're thinking okay I'll just get a job transfer to F forever 21 here or maybe I'll find another job here but then as time went on like my symptoms got worse and it wasn't getting any better I'm like I can't even work like you know it, it was just getting too hard to work especially because I never know when I'm gonna have a bad attack on our house sick I'm gonna feel and like to be put in the pressure of having to be at a job at being certain places at certain times like it was just it was just getting too hard because um, I never know, especially like I don't feel I'm definitely doing better now when I'm here because I get to rest more. So I feel better overall. But like when I was working so much, I was just like, oh, my God. So then it got to the point where I was like, I can't, I can't even work. So, you know, I tried to get through the rest of my work weekend and I was like, I, I can't. So then my dad was like, you know what? I can come get you on Saturday because I'm not working. So I, my last day at Forever 21 as a visual merchandiser was on September 1st, 2017. And I just did, I couldn't even put in my two weeks. So, cause I was just, I was just like, I can't get through another day. So I just did, um, this is my last day type of termination, you know, just immediate termination. I worked the rest of my shift. Um, and everyone there was really understanding. So I really appreciate that. They knew that I was struggling. Um, and yeah, so it, it's just so annoying. Uh, 
that this is what my life has come to. So I had to move in with my parents. Um, you know, they, you know, so I don't have to pay, I had a, you know, I only, I moved into my apartment in June, first of all. So I was only there for like two months and then I had to pay $1,100 penalty for breaking the lease. And um, so my parents had to help me pay that, pay my rent. They help me pay my credit card bills, all stuff that I'm gonna owe them. I made like an Excel spreadsheet. I don't know if you guys know, especially if you watch me on Beauty Blogger 101, I love Excel spreadsheets. So I have a spreadsheet of everything that they help me pay for, and I'm planning on paying the back. So like once I'm once I get the surgery, once I get back up on my feet, hopefully the surgery will actually work because I thought the first surgery was gonna work, I thought the second surgery was gonna work, I thought the third surgery was gonna work. Maybe fourth time is a charm, I don't know. But we'll we'll see. So pretty much like I'm here to recover, work on my health, focus on my health without work getting in the way. Because work was not only getting in the way as far as like me feeling terrible, but trying to schedule a doctor's appointment was just such a hassle because getting a doctor's appointment is a hassle in general because they're like, oh, you can't see us for another two months or or you can see us in two months or we have this one day tomorrow and you're like, I'm already scheduled for work. And it's like important. Like my, it's not for me, it's like a checkup. It's like, to fix me so it's like uh that was getting hard just trying to even schedule an appointment um and then i was like you know i don't want an emergency to happen or for me to have another emergency surgery and my parents be five hours away especially with this type of surgery that i could be getting um we are gonna go in do i want to do that yeah let's do the brow we're gonna go in with the eyeshadow w15 brush we're gonna dip just the end of it into the base shadow which is just the lightest shadow at the top and this is what we're going to put on our brow bone um, right here so I was like what if I like end up having an emergency surgery and I'm all the way out here and then if it's a major surgery like the colon one my parents can't like drive me five hours back to their home to take care of me because there's a lot of bumps if you've ever had surgery there's so many bumps in the road and like you feel every bump after a surgery so I was like you know, and like, it was also really hard living in Pittsburgh because I don't really have, I don't really, ha I have no family out there. I have, um, had very few friends and like, I still didn't want to put any burden on anybody. So try and get someone to take, pick me up from like some of my, um, procedures where I had to be under anesthesia. Like everyone was always working when I had to get it done. Like, and I had this one friend, luckily she was able to pull through for me several times and I really appreciate her. Her, but I felt so terrible like putting that burden on her and my mom's a stay-at-home mom like so like she has a little she has more wiggle room to be able to come and take me to appointments and stuff like that so it was like another reason why I was like I really need to get home you know to get better because then I have my mom around to help take care of me I have like um, other family that lives in you know the area so I live in Landenburg which is right near Delaware but I have family in Delaware I have family in Maryland um, I have to um, family that's two hours away in PA so it's like um, and then it's just nice to be around family too because my parents live five years in Hong Kong like they just moved back and I'm like oh my gosh I you know now I can make up for lost time and what's funny is it's not even just um, oh my gosh this is like a really jam-packed I should have thought this through see the, the original thing with this video was to fall get ready with me but then I was like okay I'm gonna talk now it's like also like a story time and then I was also going to do two first impressions, like try-ons, but then I'm like, oh my gosh, it's too interruptive to do that. So I'm going to save those two products for a different day and just, just focus on this. Um, so hopefully, I mean, I've been gone for a while, so do I like, I'm sure a long video is not going to be so upsetting for you guys. And I don't really give a I'll do an hour long get ready with me video if I want. Um, and does it really take you guys 15 minutes to get ready? Like, if you want to watch a Get Ready With Me video as you're getting ready, you want the Get Ready video to be as long as you're getting ready, at least a decent amount, so you don't have to pull up 20 videos. Um, so now I'm going to put on some liner. I'm just going to go in with the e.l.f. cream eyeliner. I just put up a liquid, um, I just put up an eye, bold eyeliner video for you guys, um, to incorporate three, like, steps to it. This time I'm just going to do the first step today just because... I'm not trying to put too much pressure on myself to go too, too crazy. And then I'm going to be using the SL Miss Glam Small Angled IW26 brush. And this is what I'm going to use to put on the cream eyeliner from e.l.f. What was I even saying? I, oh, yeah. It's just nice to be, you know, with family. Um, so there's just so many reasons why. And then I was also thinking just for my future, like, 
now that my parents are back, I'm like, I, I love the idea of living near my parents. Like, not like, I didn't really necessarily want to live with my parents. Um, you know, I, I'm very independent. I like my space um, and feeling like adult. I want to be able to decorate however I want. Um, so, but I was like, I really want to live near my parents because I love the idea of you know, if I was to get married, settle down anywhere, have kids, I would want it to be near my parents so that, you know, I could easily get to them because I won't have to, like, take a weekend off to go visit them or I could just, like, drive down the road and, like, have dinner with them or, and, you know, then they could see their grandkids, you know, more and it's just, you know, I just like the idea of that because I'm getting, I'm 27. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been in love, but one day I plan to be in love. It's hard to, you know, be in love when you're sick. Like, it's like, because it not only upsets you, it upsets your, the person that you're with. And then you just be like, at least I feel like a burden, like, or other. Right now I'm just focusing on my health. And then once my health is improved, I'll focus on getting a job. And then once I get a job, I'll focus on saving money to pay my parents back. Then, like, my plan is. Here's my plan. So my plan is to, you know, get better. Step one. Step two, get a job. Step three, still living with my parents, but I'm going to be saving up money to, number one, pay them back. Um, then number two, save up for a car. Then number three, like I want to put a big down payment on the car. Then number three, save up for a house. I don't know how long that would take though, that's the thing. I don't want to be here too, too long. I don't want to, you know, I want to overstay my welcome. But, um, obviously I need to pay my parents back first before I move out. I think that's like just smart and they are expecting that. Um, and then, yeah. So, I'll be here a while. But yeah, I not only live with my parents, I live with my three youngest brothers. So all six of us are in the house again, and it's been, like, over, it's all, probably about a decade, like, eight years maybe, that we've all lived in the same household because we stopped living all in the same household at one time whenever I went to college. That was, like, the last time all six of us were living together, so now we're living together again once my friends moved back. So my other brother, who's 24, he's living in the house too. Um, so we're all just chilling together. So, like, my brothers are, what, 24, 13, and 18? 18, 19. So, they're all younger than me. But it's just, yeah, it's just nice being around them because I haven't really seen much of them in a long time. So, um, it kind of worked out pretty nicely. And they all seem to like having me around. <laughs> so, I don't know, you know. I appreciate that my parents are, you know, helping me out during this time because it's like, frustrating. I just want to, all I want is to be healthy. I don't think that's like a lot to ask for, you know? Um, but yeah, that's why I disappeared. If, guys, if I ever disappear, don't be like, oh, she's lazy or she's like, whatever. Like, I literally hate, hate when I'm not filming and posting videos. Um, it's just because my health, and that's the thing too, it sucks. Like, I feel like my health is holding me back. Like, I feel like I'd be, you know, my channel would be growing much faster. And I would obviously be a lot more consistent if it wasn't for my health. Cause I, I'm a really hard worker. I have a lot of ideas that I can't help but express, hence why I have five channels. So it's like, it's frustrating. Oh my God, I cannot, I don't know why I can't get this wing. Why? Let me get this really tiny. Ooh. I get this one from Sigma. This is actually the brush that I used in the video. I wanted to switch it up. Let's see. Try to get a little. This one, what is this? The Sigma E11. That's it. Okay. I'm just going to touch up. It's hard to do this when I'm talking to. Liner is no joke. This is why I like with makeup tutorials, I don't talk when I, I try to do as many voiceover makeup tutorials. Like if I'm not doing a get ready makeup tutorial, I'm doing a um, voiceover because I noticed whenever I was filming makeup tutorials where I talked, like the video would be like 20 minutes long. And I'm like, with makeup tutorial, I kind of want to get to the point. Like I don't want to talk too, too much. But yeah, so 
I just really had to concentrate there, guys. Oh my gosh, I've got to get that wing. But yeah, because I'm living with my parents, this is another explanation. I'm broke. <laughs> they are paying for my food. Obviously, I don't have to pay rent anymore because I'm living with them. Um, so, you know, they're taking care of me. So I can't be going spending money that I don't have on makeup and clothes and whatnot. So... <laughs> You're not going to really be saying anything new. I will have a, I, re I really do need to film a haul because I, like, over the past, like, um, you know, before I quit my job, over the past, like, three or four months, I was kind of getting a product here, product there. It was all drugstore. I think 95% of it was e.l.f. And there might have been, like, a couple Wet n' Wild products. So I will be doing, like, a small haul for you guys on those products. Um, and I pretty much can review them for you at this point because I've been trying them all out. But uh, um, other than that, like... I'm not really going to be able to provide you guys with new content until maybe like Christmas because um, I for Christmas I'll just ask for like makeup products and clothes and stuff like I'll just do that um, especially because it's like our first family Christmas like I don't want to just ask for money um, <laughs> like take it off of my debt because like it's the first time like we're all six of us are together in like the longest time and my mom just has a fun time like wrapping all the gifts and having us open it and like especially for our first Christmas back so I'm just going to I'll work on paying my parents back, but I'll, I'll just, like, ask for, like, some makeup products. Definitely, I definitely want some brushes from SL Muscan Beauty, um, stuff from ColourPop. Um, I want to try out the Fenty Beauty Foundation. As far as I know, they, the brand is cruelty-free, and the foundation is vegan. It hasn't been confirmed on Logical Harmony because, I don't know, Fenty Beauty just didn't come up on any of the lists, not the cruelty-free list, the void list, the pending list, the gray area list. It hasn't popped up yet the last time that I checked. But according to Fenty's website, they are cruelty-free. They check with, I think they said that specifically that they check with their suppliers. They don't sell in China. So I'm pretty sure Fenty Beauty is going to be um, a good option. Um, and I really want to try out the foundation. I just watched Di Diana Leanne. Um, I'm not, oh, God, okay. Let me put on some primer. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Coreless Face Primer. e.l.f. primers are the best. And if you get the Fenty Beauty Foundation and you have normal dry skin, I highly recommend you get um, a primer like this one. Anything from e.l.f. The e.l.f. primers like this, like the Poreless Face Primer, the Mineral Infused Clear one. Um, because I, they just make your skin so smooth. And Diana Leanne, um, she mentioned that, you know, like she has oily skin. She thinks it's better for some of his oil or combo. But if you use like, you know, a good primer and moisturizer, um, you should be fine. And I would like to test that out for you guys just because I have a different skin type than her. Um, so that would be nice if I could get that foundation for Christmas and do a review on that. Um... That's kind of on my mind. Obviously, ColourPop is always on my mind. Um, and it's almost going to be brushes are always on my mind. But I'll, I'll be asking for, like, girly stuff like that for Christmas so I can, like, use it for YouTube stuff. Because that's really important to me, too. Because even when I had a job at Forever 21, I was making shit. Like, I did not make enough money. Like, I literally, my salary got cut in half. So I literally had no money for YouTube. And that really frustrated me. I was like, I kind of missed, you know, being an insurance worker, even though I didn't like the job, but I liked being able to invest in YouTube, um, in my passion. So it was like, and then I also wasn't stressed out about money because, you know, so I learned a lot of life lessons from working in insurance, making more money, and then working in a job that I absolutely loved that I made no money at. So, um, I don't even know what I'm going to do with the rest of my life at this point, I'm trying to figure that out as well while I'm recovering to like take the time to really think about what I want to do. But moving forward, um, either way I'll be happier because I'll be healthy. <laughs> I appreciate it all so much work. But yeah, so I, you know, I'll ask for stuff for, for Christmas and that can be kind of the new stuff that I talk about. And don't mind me. It's like falls like my news. It's, well, it's not technically fall yet. I think we have a couple more days, like a week. 10 days. I don't know. Um, but I love, I love fall. I didn't realize how much I love fall. I just love pumpkin everything. I'll get into how much I love fall in a second because this is a fall get ready with me video. And the reason why, you know, I chose, um, this palette from e.l.f. is because of like the brown gold and like nudie shades. I thought it'd be perfect. And we're going to be using some more browns later. I absolutely, I love fall makeup. I think Fall makeup, I'm just going to get into why I love fall. I'm going off random tangents, don't mind me. 
Uh, now we're going to go in with the Physicians Formula New Brow Foundation. I have the lightest shade. And then we're going to use the SL Miss Glam Fat Top Foundation W12 brush. I'm just going to do two pumps. Oh, oh my god, I'm running out. I think I'm running out. But yeah, so, you know, I love pumpkin everything. Like food-wise, smell-wise. I just cannot get enough of pumpkin. And then I love, like, you know, when the leaves change. I like the kind of, like, outfits that you can put together. Not that I want to deal with having to do layers, but I think the outfits can be really cute. Like, I get more, like, plaid stuff, which I probably won't get until Christmas, and then it'll be passable. But, like, I really love plaid. Um, yeah. The food, like, it's just all, it's just all nice. And then the cooler weather, like, it's not too cold, but I'm kind of interested to see how fall is in Landenburg, because I haven't been here in so long in like Pittsburgh you have fall for like a week maybe two and like there are a couple days in that two weeks where it's summer so it's like I really want to experience a real fall so hopefully it lasts a bit longer here I'm gonna go back in with the elf HD lifting concealer and put that underneath our eyes um but yeah it's just a nice time of the year but yeah, what is your guys' favorite part about fall? For me, it's pumpkin everything. But what is your favorite part or favorite thing? Let me know down in the comments. Now we're going to use the SL Miss Glam Taper Foundation W13 brush just to blend out that concealer. But I, in regards to, you know, talking like new makeup and stuff, I do have a nice surprise if you guys follow me on Snapchat and Twitter. You guys already know. But I won the e.l.f. contest for their six new shades of their matte liquid lipsticks. So I'm getting all six of the new shades, and the new shades are amazing. Like, whenever I was about to enter the contest, I saw the lipsticks and the shades. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so perfect for fall. It'd be so great to do a liquid lipstick review, lip swatch video for you guys. And I entered, and I was just like, I'm not going to win, but, like, what the heck? I might as well try. And, um, and, uh, and you know, and for me, I was like, well... If anything, I, I'm not going to mind not winning this. I'd rather, you know, my health get better. But I won. <laughs> they, they messaged me. I was like, oh, my God, I cannot believe I won. And it's so perfect because I just really want to be able to talk about some new products with you guys and, um, you know, be a part of the all that stuff. Like, I obviously, even before, I couldn't afford to get every new product that comes out. I was like, I just want to at least try to get a thing here or there. So I won, so I'm going to be uh, doing a lip swatch video for you guys. I'm reviewing the Liquid Matte Lipsticks. I have not tried the other ones. Apparently these are just new shades, um, but I have not tried them ever, like the actual formula. I don't own any liquid lipsticks from e.l.f. I think I just have one of their Beautifully Bare lipsticks. Um, so I'm really interested to see how they wear. I hope they are good. And um, But either way, it's not like I had to pay for it. So it's not like I wasted my money on it. I can tell you guys, you know... If they're worth buying, which I'm sure at least for the money they'll be worth buying, unless they're like that terrible. But um, the colors, though, the color selection is just perfect. It just screams fall. I love it. Oh, and because like I've been disappearing so much, and just because I like to talk a lot, and hopefully you guys, you know, want to get to know more about me, especially because so much is so much over the past year or two has changed in my life. Like it's just insane as far as moving, relationships, health, family, like everything it's just work everything has just been like up and down up and down roller coaster crazy so if you guys have any questions for me I think we should do a Q&A and you can ask me stuff about YouTube about makeup about beauty about my personal life ro like romantic stuff or like whatever the heck you guys want you want to know what my favorite food is you want to know what I like to order at Starbucks like um anything like anything you can think of if you want to do like, um, I don't know, just ask me any question that you want. Um, so just uh, link that down, uh, put it down in the comments and I'll check this video and then I will do a Q&A for you guys. I think it'll be fun. Also, if you guys talk a lot, let me know down in the comments. My girl Joanne, I'm sure she will leave me a long comment and make me feel better. I love you, girl. Joanne is like the best. She comments on all of my videos across all five of my channels leaves me these nice long comments, which I absolutely love because I feel like I'm actually really getting to know her. Like, Joanne, you are my friend. Um, so I really appreciate, Joanne, you taking the time to write those long comments um, and really paying attention to the video. Like, I can tell, like, she watches the whole video. Um, so I really appreciate that, girl. <laughs> I appreciate that so much, especially nowadays. Like, there's just so much going on in life. Like, it's just, it's just really hard. Even, like, for me, like, if I had been the situation that I am now, like, where I live with my parents, I don't have a job, 
and let's say I'm perfectly healthy, I don't know how, I don't know how people do, I don't know how YouTubers do our job. Like, even if it's all we do is YouTube, is so much. There's just, just, just catching up on social media alone is like insane. Now I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Flush Blush. This is a super stock cheek matte blush. I absolutely, this is like my fall blush. I absolutely love this blush. I think, I don't know if it's around guys, I'm sorry. If you guys know of any good ColourPop blushes that you think are really good for fall, let us know down in the comments. But this is kind of like my go-to. I don't even know if this came out in the fall. It might have even come out in the summer collection. It was with the K-pop collection, but it's like a burnt, orangey red apricot blush so that's why I like it a lot so I'm just gonna use my finger to place it I only use my finger for ColourPop blushes do not put it on any other way if you guys have a brush that really works for ColourPop blushes let us know down in the comments because I would really like to know but I don't know when it comes to ColourPop I pretty much <laughs> I use my fingers as much as I possibly can especially because I take ColourPop on the go um but yeah, I just, I just think this is like the perfect shade for falls. So like every year I'm just like, yes, this one is so good. But yeah, I'm kind of like interested to see what the heck I'm going to do. Like if, I wish I got paid more for YouTube because I, if that's all I had to dedicate my time to and I was feeling good, I, I feel like I would kick the YouTube world's ass. Like, I don't know. Like I just know me and I'm like a hard worker. Like I feel like I could do it, but like with everything that I've been dealing with and then then I'm going to start a new job so, like once I get better and like it's stressful and like even now like I'm trying not to push myself too hard this is like my first time filming after being here a little over a week and um you know because I don't want to stress myself out and make the problems worse so I'm trying to like to not overdo it and not push myself too much when it comes to posting videos filming videos or even watching youtube videos because that, that actually kind of stresses me out a little bit because i really want to make sure i comment and you know i'm really paying attention because i feel like whenever i'm watching youtube videos i'm really getting to know the person i feel like if i watch it a video for two seconds leave a random comment and then move on like i'm not really getting to know the youtuber so that's probably why it's taking me forever to like catch up on my friends videos because i'm like i want to watch every video and i want to watch and i'm also ocd so i'm like i want to watch it in order like because i want to miss something and like like, not understand an inside joke because I, you know, didn't, I don't know. I'm just very thorough. Now, I usually use, like, my fingers to apply and blend, but then I kind of like to go in with a stippling brush. So I'm using the Stippling Face W09 brush and just kind of making sure it's as blended as possible. But mostly use my fingers. This is just, like, just in case. Um, so there's that. And then we're going to go in with... This Physician's Formula Nude Wear, or not Nude Wear, Physician's Formula Mineral Wear Talc Free Mineral Airbrushing Press Powder SPF 30 Broad Spectrum Sunscreen Translucent Powder. So, Physician's Formula, I get the lightest shade, even, and that includes anything that's translucent. I'll go right to translucent. So, but it's not like clear or anything. It's still like a nudie. I don't, I don't know. I don't like it's sort of translucent. And then we're going to use my one of my all-time favorite brushes from SLMS Glam Beauty, which is the Tapered Highlight W04 brush. I have like three of these in the white, and then I have them also in other collections. Like they're just, it's just like my favorite brush. It's so good because it's tapered, it's fluffy, gets right underneath your eye perfectly. Love it. Love, love, love. Okay. Uh, I'm like trying to like organize myself because my stuff is like everywhere. Like figure out what the hell I've been doing. Um, oh, and before. I'm done get putting on my face stuff, so I'm going to put on some lip balm. And this one's not cruelty free, it's just some lip balm I got on an airplane to Hong Kong at some point. I had I actually had a cruelty free and vegan lip balm from Glamour Dolls. I lost it and I absolutely love that one. It's the clear one, the some kitten kisses called one. I don't know, I'll insert it here. I love that one and I have no idea what happened to it. I checked all my purses, but I moved a couple times, so it's gone forever, I think, at this point. I don't know where it is, but I'm gonna get it whenever I put in another order to Glamour Dolls. Maybe I'll add that to my Christmas list too, is Glamour Dolls. I'm so attractive. Okay, let's go in with the highlight. Oh, I never put my lid shade on. And I already put my liner on. This is what happens when you try to multitask. I mean, it still looks good. 
Uh, all right, so I'm going to go in with the Sigma Shader Lid E56 brush. Normally, too, whenever I'm, like, trying to do, like, it, whenever I'm getting ready or doing my makeup, I have my makeup laid out in order, but I kind of just threw it everywhere. So that's my fault. Gotta stay organized. So I'm actually going to use a Makeup Geek eyeshadow in, um, I'm going to do a gold. So I'm going to do Magic Dact. It's kind of crumbly. Kind of came to me broken, but I'll forgive Makeup Geek. I'm going to try to go with just like the tip just because I just kind of want to touch it up into that area. Oh my gosh. And then I'll touch up my liner. I just can't just not do the lid. Yeah, just kind of focus it on the top there. And I normally use my finger for foiled eyeshadows, but because I screwed this up, I'm going to use a brush so I don't mess up the liquid eyeliner or the cream eyeliner too much. If you're getting stuff, you can fix it later. It's just going to be a little bit more difficult, take you a little bit more time than it would have I'm totally spaced. I mean, I, I'm sure it would have been fine without it, but like I really wanted this pop of gold. It's essential. But yeah, fall, that's why I love fall. Like you get like the, the browns, the golds, the ambers, the oranges like it's just so fun and even like pops of green oh I love it I don't have a basic outline on it I don't think I'm gonna go in with my pinky I don't have my nail my slip my um fake nails on anymore so so whenever you're doing full that eyeshadow it stands out more if you use your finger whatever I'm just gonna have to touch up my at least I got the the base of it the outline of it and then I stick over top where I have it but yeah my life has just been so crazy so much going on I just want to be healthy and then get a job, have money, and then really just make my YouTube channel better. better. Like, I want to get more products for you guys to talk about, so I'm switching up more. I want to eventually get a better camera. My eye has been on the Canon 70D. I don't know if by the time I can get a camera, something better will come out. Um, but I've just seen, like, Madison Miller has a Canon 70D. Her quality is amazing, and it's also compatible with the Sigma lens. Um... I tried using a Sigma lens with this can uh, the Canon T5i, and it was absolutely terrible. <laughs> like, it just kept clicking, flickering, and, it, like, it just was not compatible at all, so I had to return it. Um, okay, so now we're going to go in with the Milk Makeup Mars Highlighter. This makes me nervous using this whole stick. So I'm just going to use my finger, circle it around, and then we're going to place it on. I think this is just, like, a good ball. It's like pink and bright, and I don't even know what color you would call this. It's just radiant. But I'm gonna top it off with like a powder. I don't really have any good gold. Like I have like the Anastasia Glow Kit, but um, I usually try to stick with like whites or like stuff like that. I want to get too gold because my skin is so light. So this is just like a nice cream base. And then I think if you want a highlighter to last, you use like a light, um, use a cream or a liquid highlighter first, and then you top it off with powder. Kind of like when you put on concealer, you put on concealer that's like the liquidy part, and then you top it off with um, a powder. Uh, so we're going to use the Essel Miss Glam Fan Highlight W30 brush. It's like my favorite brush ever. And we're using an Anastasia Dripping in Gold shade from the Anastasia That Glow palette. I really wanted the um, Desi times Katie collection highlighter the lighter one I think it was Fuego I really wanted that that and the one lipstick that came out the orangey red oh, it's like perfect I also want to get Colourpop Ariba that is vegan but that's the one thing that sucked about like not having money was like I really wanted to get the full Desi times Katie collection with the exception of the eyeshadow palette because that wasn't vegan but everything else was vegan oh I really love their collection I got so excited for that now we're going to touch up this gel liner because I almost forgot about that. But yeah, so many good, like, cool products are coming out. What product that has come out that you, what, what product has come out that you guys are the most excited about? Let me know down in the comments. We're going to be talking a lot in this video because I'm talking a lot, so I'm going to be asking you a lot of questions to make up for lost time. That's the thing, too. I wish I could be posting a video every day, like, two for beauty attic next door a week and then maybe like two of you know from my other channels but like each week be a different channel like two from beauty attic next door one week with two from beauty blogger one a month the following week two from beauty attic next door and 
and two for two from fashion attic next door like you know like i just wish i could make youtube a full-time job not that they can't be but not at this point in my career can it be so and then like branch off into something else like starting a makeup line that'd be so cool that's the thing though it sucks like everything that i want to do that i think i would love to do just seems so unattainable like i know people out there like Oh, you can put anything, you can do whatever you set your mind to, but, like, sometimes that's just, like, not the case, like, and it's a huge risk. You actually have to know what you're fucking doing, too, so it's like, I don't even know. I don't even, I know the things that I want to do, but I just don't feel like I'm qualified for them, so I just, that's the thing that I really got to research and figure out, but I do know for sure that I want to be at least making enough money where I, you know, live comfortably, can afford a car, and can afford, you know, my YouTube channel. Cause that that's like I absolutely love YouTube so that's kind of like super important to me that's like first off and then after that try to make it something that I really want to do like what I actually like doing oh my gosh okay now I'm gonna go in with the Jeffree Star Velour strawberry lip scrub we're not already in the fall our skin and our lips are gonna start drying up my lips have already started drying up I've been like trying to avoid getting up to get a brow pencil. Well, let me go get it. But yeah, I, I was gonna film a video right after this, but I have a feeling that I'm just gonna have to charge my camera for a bit because this is my battery's dying. I might die before the time I'm done with this. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with a ColourPop brow pencil and Dope Taupe. I switched to Dope Taupe now that I have like darker. Um, hair, I will be doing a video on my new hair. I have a huge hair story. This is not even like the first time, like I had my hair blonde and I did an ombre, but the ombre was done wrong. I like the overall look, but then it's a huge story. So I'll save it for that video. But this is within a, a month, I've had three different hair colors. So um, I'll get into that in a future video. Probably won't film that today, but I wanna film I'm filming this get ready with me video because I figured I might as well film as I get ready anyway. Like, kill two birds with one stone. And, um, then I'll film some of the other videos I need to film. Because I have a couple for Beauty Addict Next Door, so I'm not, like, super behind on Beauty Addict Next Door filming. But I'm, because I filmed a bunch for it before I left Pittsburgh. But, uh, yeah, I don't know if I mentioned that in this video. I left, like, I moved out of Pittsburgh to Landenburg, which is, like, five hours away. That's how, like, the distance is. Um, I'm pretty close to Delaware, but, yeah, so much going on, which thank God, you know, I got my hair a little darker, just because I ran out of ColourPop Blondie, and I was like, I have no money, and I don't want to, like, I, I would pay six bucks for a brow pencil, but I'm like, I'm not going to spend $30 to get the free shipping, you know, and I hate paying for shipping, like, I, it's like a pet peeve. So I was like, you know, thank good. And then I got my hair done, like, literally right after I ran out of it, like, two days after I ran out of it. And I'm like, oh, wait, now I can wear Dope Taupe again. So, bam, make, was able to make it work. I also have to do some more cruelty-free update. I've been meaning to do, like, a cruelty-free transition update video for so long. And I have some cruelty-free related videos that I had ideas from, like, six months ago that I still need to do. So, like, that kind of stuff's going to come up soon as well. Now we're going to go in with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I've had this for so long. When I was first using her brow gel, like, I went through, I think this is, like, my third tube of it. But the first two tubes I went through so quickly. And then the third tube I've been, like, kind of, like, saving because I was spending so much money on makeup, especially brow products, because I wanted all Anastasia. I love Anastasia brow products. So they're amazing. Um, but then um, I found an e.l.f. brow gel. Let me hear. It's in here. I think. Maybe not. But there's, like, an e.l.f brow gel is clear brow gel it's like a two dollars like or a dollar or something like that so it's like and it works just as well maybe well maybe not as well but basically the same so it's like why spend the money but i absolutely love Anastasia products so i mean kind of this one i've been kind of dragging out using and then there was at one point too that i was just using it like in every single video and i was like, okay you need to switch it up but i love this it's definitely like you can find things cheaper but it's still definitely worth the money like i think it's still really good um, and then we're gonna go in with mascara. I can't tell you how many times I've done my makeup and completely forgot about mascaras. Because they put on eyeliner, I completely forget sometimes. 
I will have a video um, up soon with me trying on this mascara for the first time and reviewing it. It's the Wet n Wild Max Fanatic mascara. So I'll have like a demo and everything. So stay tuned for that. All right, I'm gonna go back in with the Anastasia Glow Kit. I'm gonna wipe off the Sigma E56 brush. And then we're gonna dip it into Dripping in Gold. I'm gonna put that on the inner corners of our eyes. And then we're gonna use the I almost going to be the angled eye W20 brush. I'm gonna go back in. Where is it? The eyeshadow palette, and we're gonna put on the crease shade, which is this like ambery red burnt kind of shade right here. It says crease on it from the palette. Dip that in, tap it off. And we're gonna put that on the lower lash line. I probably should have done this before I did my mascara, but I forgot. I don't, I'm all over the place. It's my first do time doing makeup in like two weeks. And like for two weeks before that, like when I did it a couple times, like two times for work. I'm gonna do another layer of mascara so I can touch up the bottoms here. Because when you put the powder on the lower lash line, it kind of gets on top of your mascara. So it kind of undoes what you just did. All right, now we're going to go back in with lip balm. Because you know I'm going to be using a liquid lipstick. And guess where it's from? ColourPop. Obsessed. Not just with the, the mattes. Not just with the satins. I love the mattes, the satins, the glosses. Um, is there another one? Just anything in this tube I love. I even like the lippy sticks and the lip pencils. Like... I love ColourPop lip products. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Stomper and put that on my upper and lower waterline. All right, now we're gonna go in with setting spray again. I feel like now I'm just like trying to get the makeup done. <laughs> this is just, it helps the makeup tutorial. Oh my gosh. I wanna get more pixie makeup fixing mists too, but those are so expensive. Oh. Now we're gonna go in with ColourPop Embellish. This came out in the winter collection, but I saw online they have it in like the regular tube, not like the special limited edition packaging. Um, I'm gonna put that on our lips, it's a dark brown. Okay, so now that I got my makeup done, I'm gonna work on my hair. So I'm gonna take this out of my hair. Um, and I wanna pull it back, because I want you guys to see more of the brown, because the way this hair looks the best is with it curled, not waved, or straight which is whatever that will be in my story time so I kind of want to pull my hair back up here and like Madison Miller had her hair like this on snapchat like she had like the upper part pulled back and I haven't done that in forever so I kind of want to do that I think that'd be really cute I think hers was actually curled though but I could work with my wave let's see it's hard to see well it's pretty good for not having a hard time seeing I don't know if you guys know but I'm Nearsighted, can't see far away. I must have my glasses on, but I only need my glasses if I'm like at a lecture where I'm all the way in the back or like driving. Sometimes when I was at work, I would wear my glasses at my desk, depending on how far back my mom, like the screen was from my where I was sitting. Because I started noticing that I was squinting a lot, but that's been a while. I'm gonna get that out because like I had the perfect poof, but then I got this caught up in it. Oh. But yeah, I also am glad that I, I went darker. Well, I'll just do the short version. I went darker because um, I didn't want to have to get my hair done as much, especially because I'm going to be living with my parents and God knows how long I'm going to be living with them depending on my health. So I didn't want to have to be like, oh, take me to get my hair done every two months. And then like, also I can't afford it. So I was like, I want something that I could, could like grow out for a while. I wouldn't feel rushed to go back to the hair salon. This is like really caught. But this poof is so good. I don't want to fuck it up. There we go. I'm probably like ripping my hair, but like, you know, who cares? <sighs> I should. Okay. So we got the, let's get that out. Make sure everything is separated. I want to do more hair on this channel. I feel like I've been neglecting the hair portion of it. because it's just easier for me to do makeup. And like, like out of like my beauty stuff, my like. We have like makeup, hair, and skincare, and like I'm all about like makeup. That's like my favorite thing. 
I have like no skincare now either. So like, I don't know how I'm going to build my skincare collection. <sighs> Everything that I want to do and have planned for is just like, going to have to be put on hold even longer. And like, I've gotten you guys so excited. I've been like, oh, I want to do this with my apartment. And I want to, I want to get this product and like, oh, maybe I'll, if I talk about getting anything, just know it's not going to come for like a year. <laughs> oh, the struggle. Honestly, like, I'm so pissed at my health issues because I guarantee you if I didn't have my health problems, I'd still be working at my insurance job and I'd be making so much more money than I even was when I left. And I would be, um, oh. I have so much more money for my YouTube, which would make me really happy. But at this point, it's just like, honestly, you almost care more about the money because that will allow me to do what I love, which is my hobby. The thing I love most, like, I love YouTube even more than my visual merchandiser drop. And, um, although I wish I could do the visual merchandiser drop and do YouTube and love it all, I love my life all day long. I can if I don't have the money for YouTube because then I'm just stressed out about money. So it's just like, ugh. Ugh. It's like, why can't I have like a trust fund or something? I'm sure that's like everyone's question. Why can't they just have a trust fund? Or like, I don't even need a trust fund. I just like want the job that I want and get paid the amount that I would get paid. <laughs> Can I just have that? Just like putting it back. So I put in like the little plastic thing just to kind of get the poof that I want it and keep it in pl like kind of make the base for it. And then just to secure it, I went in with bobby pins. So I put that in my... So I'm just like, I don't need this many, but it's easier when I'm doing in like a regular mirror, but I don't know how this looks. I really need to do my hair story because I keep wanting to tell you about my hair, but like the issues, like I'm not even 100% happy with it. I like the overall look. Like I like the whole dark to light. I like the whole like having some dark in my hair and light in my hair because I feel like it brings out different features in my face and like it's like. Like, if it's all dark, it's, like, too dark. And if it's all blonde, it's maybe a little too blonde. If I have the mixture, it's just kind of nice. Um, and I like the dark framing my face, but still having the light on the outside. I don't know. But that's a story time video. That's, like, a whole video in and of itself. I have to look in a bigger mirror to decide if I like this or not. Hold on. All right, I'm just rolling with it. So I put some hairspray in my hair just to kind of hold it. Um, and now I'm going to go pick out a top and then do my intro and outro. And minimize the talking because I keep talking a lot. And here I here I go. Here I go. I gotta stop. All right, now I wanna do one. Now I wanna do one more step. I wanna go in with tassel. I've been wanting to do that. I was like, I put gold in the inner corner, but I just love a pop of white on the inner corner. I'm not gonna tip it too much so it doesn't fall out. But it's just like a glittery eyeshadow from ColourPop. Um, so I'm gonna wipe this off. Still gonna go back in with the Sigma E56 brush because I just love that brush for the inner corner. And then we're gonna put that on the inner corners because I love the pop of white. It just really makes everything else, like, it pops out itself, but then it also makes everything else stand out, I think. Like, it doesn't just all blend in together. I like contrast. I don't know about you guys. So I'm just going to put that on the inner corner. But And then the top that I decided to go with today is this plaid top from Forever 21. I've had this for years, and it's, like, my fall top. Whenever fall is out, like, it's not fall yet, but I definitely need to make sure that on the first day of fall that I'm wearing this top. Even if I'm, like, inside, just put it over my pajamas. <laughs> um because I absolutely love this top. It just, I love plaid, I love red plaid especially. I need to definitely get more plaid in my life when I run out of money. Like, hopefully in a year. So hopefully fall 2018, I'll have my own place, I will have a car, I'll have money to spend, and I'm just gonna, I think if there's any season that I'm gonna invest in the most, it's fall. You would think Christmas, but no, it's gonna be fall. Lots of, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy lots of plaid. I feel like plaid's never gonna go out of style. Like, I feel like that's just gonna be a signature thing. I think I, I put a lot. <laughs> so now we're gonna get like a little fluffy brush. We're gonna do, I love this brush. If you're trying to fluff out the inner corner of your eye, you have to get this Sigma Blending E36 brush. I need to do a makeup, all about makeup brushes video. Oh my gosh, that's what I need to do. Because I have to sit and figure out what brushes are my favorite. Because I do have a good good amount of brushes on our like everything I use is vegan. So I have like a Selma's Glam, Sigma Beauty, Wet and Vile, Elf, um, and then a couple random brushes. But my main ones are definitely Sigma, Selma's Glam having the most, with Wet and Wild being second, and then Elf right below that. So yeah, I definitely need to do that. I'm gonna try out some of the new clear elf brushes too. I wanna uh, 
Well, you could just enter in as many contests as I possibly can. Living with my parents is helpful too because they'll see what I'm buying. Like, if the package arrives, like, I can't hide anything. And I'm like, I don't have a car, so they can drive me places. So if I go with them anywhere and they see me pick up stuff, it's like they're gonna know and they're gonna be like, you owe us money. So it's like, and I'm living with them. So it's like, okay, I can't just like put it on a credit card and like hope for the best. Like, especially because I don't know the time frame of like when I'm gonna do better. So it's like, they're really keeping me in check on this no buy. If you, if you wanna, if you wanna do a good job of being on a no buy, live with people who you know are gonna be like, what are you doing? It's annoying, but it will prevent you from buying stuff. Hopefully. Okay, so that's it. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. I did my makeup, my hair, got my outfit together. I also went with like gold jewelry. So I have this gold bracelet, this gold necklace from My Name Necklace. It's like a, is it My Name Necklace? Yeah, My Name Necklace where it's like customized. So it has like my initials. Um, I think I got the larger pendant. And then this tank top from Forever 21, this top from Forever 21. This is from Forever 21, Rue 21. This is from Rue 21. So I just wanted to go with a gold accent because I used some gold in my eyeshadow. I think fall really screams like a gold rather than a silver. Like I think gold for fall, silver for winter. Um, but yeah, so that's that. All right. It was just like an automated message about student loans and I'm like, I don't have student loans, so. All right, I'm done talking. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun catching up with you guys and getting to talk to you and just chill while I got ready to film today. Um, so thank you guys so much for um, watching. If you have not subscribed to my channel already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button below. Click that little bell so that you're notified of when my videos have been posted. Like this video if you did like it and I will see you all in my next video. Bye! Because this is the time where you are kind of setting up what's going to be traced. Um, so you know like when you get a tattoo done, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like they put the stencil on first and then they go in and do the, the ink. That's kind of like what we're doing here is we're putting on the base, making sure everything looks perfect before we go in with the, you know, the hardest part to get off, like a tattoo, which is the liquid eyeliner. So now we're going to go in with the liquid eyeliner.